Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course where you will learn how to design steel connections using RAM Connection Standalone. RAM Connection Standalone is used for the design and detailing of steel connections and it can design individual shear, moment, brace, splice, and truss connection types to a variety of different steel design codes. In this particular video, we're gonna be focusing on the workflow for assigning a through plate connection to a beam to column joint for the purposes of resisting a shear reaction. We will now turn our attention to our sample model in RAM connection standalone. And I'm going to be assigning a through plate connection to the currently selected joint. This is joint number four. It is defined as a beam to column joint and my column shape is a round HSS section and a shear load is imposed upon it. To assign a through plate connection type, I can go to the assign icon within the ribbon toolbar and click on the basic connection option. Here I'm looking for the acronym for TP for through plate and you're going to notice that it does specify that this is appropriate for an HSS or basically a hollow structural section Azure column section. So I'm going to go ahead and select this option and you can see that a shear connection has been assigned. Now the first thing I'm going to do after a connection is successfully assigned is take a look in the joint selection area where I'll be able to see the status of my connection design. Here I can see that my interaction ratio is less than 1.0 and it has a green indicator light which means that it passed the initial connection design. If I would like to review this connection information, I can go to the connection pad by going to the ribbon toolbar, clicking the design tab, and then selecting the edit icon. Now within the data panel, let's go ahead and scroll down to see what pieces of information we could customize for this joint. You can see that I can customize the plank thickness and material. I can also customize the fastening information for the beam side and also the support side. It will be a bolted connection to your beam and welded to your support. Now, if I wanted to also take a look at the detailing of this connection design, I can take a look at the DXF view and I could export this DXF for my drawings. Let's also take a look at the connection results. And if I scroll down, I'll be able to see the geometric considerations and the design checks that were performed for this currently selected joint, along with the global critical strength ratio. Now, if I'd like some additional information in this report, I can click on the view formulas icon where all the formulas and variables that were used to arrive at these results will be displayed. Let's go ahead and close out of this report. Now, at this point, I didn't make any changes to this particular connection design. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click the save icon and then edit exit out of the connection pad. Now this concludes my process for assigning a through plate connection to a beam to column joint where the column is defined as an HSS or hollow structural section in RAM connection standalone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.